Hey guys and gals, real quick video. I wanted to show you some of the progress I've been making here on the Ultimate Gamers Den. It's coming along bit by bit, but uh, I did want to throw this quick video up to show you a little sneak peek. Now we're going to turn my camera around here and show you what we're looking at. So basically I've gotten up all of the moisture barrier and started the preliminary framing. As you can see here, I have the, the baseboards screwed into the concrete. And uh, those will want, we will work the framing on. And working our way down here. Now, you can see here we have a septic system since we live way out in the country. And uh, you can see how we're going to box that in and drywall that there um, thinking this is going to be a little nook for the for a display case because right here we're going to we're building another uh, opening here where you can see I have all the electrical I have a main panel and a sub panel that we have for doing the office and now the finished part of the basement and what I'm going to do here guys is we're going to put uh, double French doors so you can open this up, have full access to the electrical, and also you can, you know, we could do some uh, some brooms and dust pans, things like that in there. Now here we have my cabinet that I use for my terrain. That will be obviously replaced with cabinetry, uh, but you can see here we got the back wall. We got a nice big full basement here, guys, so it's going to work out really nice. Um, and over here in the corner, we're going to build, I'm going to build uh, a sump cabinet uh, big enough here so we can keep a dehumidifier. And uh, right about right here is where the door will be going to access our water line and also our sump and backup sump system. My backup sump system is a water fed backup sump system. So you can see here we've got all the way down here. Uh, there's my old N scale, N as in Nancy, train layout. We'll get to that here in a minute. And I'm going to show you where that's going to go temporarily until I come up with a new train layout. Yes, we are going to have a train layout in the Ultimate Gamer's Den. So that's something if you guys are living close by and you want to come to play, uh, that'll be something else we can we can play with. So we're going to come around here. I'm going to end up putting more moisture barrier along this wall. The bookcase will get repainted and repurposed for rule books and relocated. But we're going to come around here and you can see the stairway going up to the kitchen. So we have access to food at all times. Uh, my wife is a gourmet cook and uh, she will keep us stocked in fresh food. So we're going to have a door right here into the main pantry. So we're going to have a main pantry here with a door. Uh, we have a, a backup refrigerator. Uh, my wife's canning. She cans a lot. We've got some other pantry, but we're going to basically make this an enclosed pantry. But as far as the gamer's den, this will be open access from the stairs straight on into the gaming area. Now, this area here will be another wall that I will frame in. Uh, there's my game tables. Uh, temporarily unused. You can see here that I've converted my old tables into work areas. We've got the saw drill and another catch-all table. I got my nail gun. I got my liquid nails. I got my charger. I've got my palm sanders. I've been doing making some bases here. But um, yeah, so we're basically guys going to have a wall coming down here and we're gonna have a corner here so this will be kind of like a big hallway right here and then right here where you see the furnace and air conditioning uh, system will be another wall right here coming down and this area right here you see this opening here where there's a little bit of ductwork coming down right here is actually going to be another door so we will have two doors accessing this new area will all become all enclosed pantry and full access to the furnace, the air conditioning, the water heater as necessary. So I thought it would be good to have a pass through 
by adding another door. Now here I currently have a lot of my minis stored. Uh, we'll be replacing that, obviously, as we finish out the basement. And then these two plastic cabinets will be used in the pantry. So I'll get, uh, I will still get use out of those. But if you guys are uh, looking for a good storage solution to keep the dust off of your, uh, off of your scenery and a place to store minis in bulk, I highly recommend these Sterilite cabinets. They're fairly inexpensive, 50 bucks. The nice thing is uh, all your minis are in there and you're not going to get dust on everything. Um, so we're going to come around this way. We're going to make another corner, another turn here. There will be an access panel here. I will build for another access point for the furnace. And uh, that panel here will not be blocked. And this cubby that I'm currently using for my build and my paint area will become the new train layout. There will be a train layout in this area. We're going to, we're going to move we're going to move the big train layout I've had since my kids were little. It's temporarily going to go over here to this area. And then I'm going to sit down and devise and come up using all the Cato track system for N scale, N as in Nancy, uh, to build a really nice layout. I might even do the layout so that it can climb. We might do some like mountain pass or something like that up against the wall here. It's going to be really cool. We're going to do something more elaborate this time instead of just circles and loops. So that'll be something to look forward to on the channel. I will share that when we get to it. We're probably looking at a couple years down the road, but I'm not going anywhere. We've got long-term plans here, guys. And then I'll turn you back around here. This is going to become my new build paint area. I'm going to have access for my chair to come into the middle and I will be able to pan over here I'm probably going to go to Ikea. I can take measurements of what I want, where I want the table, and actually make it so that this is cut to the drywall, but yet maybe has a curve, or maybe we can just do, uh, we, can trans, we can transpose these, these uh, angles so that right here I have a flat screen. We'll put a nice, I don't know, 40 inch Samsung flat screen smart TV up here on the wall for me to watch kind of low so I can still see it good. Um, and I'm thinking doing my paint booth over here. I'll uh, position my paint booth over here for my airbrush so we can vent it outside. So it'll be properly vented. Um, and I will have my build area right near my TV like I currently use, how I use it. And then this area and this side of the area will actually be staging areas for uh, doing the final paint. So we'll have airbrush, another staging area, my build area, another staging area, and final paint. Okay, we're going to have this flooded with light. And I want to take you here into my office. I finished this office probably eight years ago. Um, it's it's worked great. We really... I. It was really a good idea putting these uh, uh, French doors with glass because it helps open the office up so it doesn't feel so enclosed. So if you're looking to finish your basement and putting in an office or a separate room, I highly recommend going this route. It really has worked well. But I wanted to show you uh, the sample lighting we have for what we're going to be using out in the gamer's den. Now this panel you're currently looking at is an LED panel. It is a 4,000 Kelvin uh, panel. They make them in 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000. And I kind of went middle of the road. And here is its uh, companion here. Now this is a traditional fluorescent U-tube. U is in U-line, U is in Ulster. There are two U-tubes in there. Hey, it's like YouTube. Anyway, <laughs> you can see them in there. I hate these things. I don't like the light, first of all, that it puts out. Second of all, uh, I get maybe a year or so out of the YouTubes and I buy them by the case. It seems like I'm always changing them. And 
look how much nicer that light is, how much brighter it is. And I've got another one I purchased over here in the corner. And another nice thing about these U lights is you can get them on Amazon. If you buy them 10 or more, you can get them as cheap as 35 bucks a panel. They're two by two. They're super thin. They're only like this thick. I mean, they're super thin, super light. You can see you do not see the, uh, the little filaments, the little uh, diodes as it were. Now I'm gonna show you the difference. I have a studio light here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and you can see the little diodes in there. Now it's not a big deal. Those are light and medium diodes, but you can see this is a technology from probably a year and a half or so ago. They do not have that anymore. So I'm showing you how far it has come in case you're looking for lighting in your gaming area or these panels have little hooks you can fold up and you can hang these in your garage and just wire them wherever you have a bulb in your garage. You can literally just take that wiring and wire into your LED, new LED panel. And like I said, you can get up to 5,000 K, which is a really bright light. This is middle of the road. This is 4,000 K again. And you can see here, I've even tried the U bulbs, the fluorescent U bulbs that are the 3000 K and you can see they're more of a yellowish light. Uh, my wife likes that lighting, but you can see the kind of, I don't know, it's, 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 it is a natural light, I guess, but it's awfully dim when you compare it to this. Now, the next thing I'm going to tell you is with these LEDs, they're dimmable. Unlike fluorescence, these are going to be dimmable guys. And when I go back out, I'm going to throw at you the idea I have for my gaming tables and how I'm going to do a build on them. And above the gaming tables, we're going to have them on dimmer switches. So if we want to fight a battle where we want the lighting a little bit more subdued, we can dial it down or we can dial it up. And I'm probably going to go with the, the lighting above the gaming tables is going to be the 5000K because I can dial it down, right? And I want, I can go high end if I want, really bright. We want to do a desert battle we can tone it down and we can dim down the lights if we want to do that and i'm going to do that here in the office as well these 4000k lights i'm going to buy two more panels i wanted to get these just to sample them and see how i like them easy to install and dimmable so that is really important to keep in mind if you're looking for a solution to brighten up your gaming area or you can put these in your garage as work lights um, they're not going to be affected by the cold and the heat like fluorescents are. And you can just literally hang them on the ceiling with the hooks that are already attached and just wire them with your existing wiring. It's super easy. I, I would highly recommend it. So we're going to go back out here into the shop. And I'm going to show you my idea. I'm going to throw this at you. Now put your comments below, guys, because this is how I'm going to do it. Pretty sure. And you see here, we're going to do our lighting up here. And this area right here, I'm going to do an 8 by 4 8 foot long by 4 foot wide, so you can still reach easily into the middle of the table. Right here, we're going to have table number 1, or table number 2, as it were. Over here, starting over here in this area, is going to be another eight by four foot table, right? Another eight by four foot table. We'll have our lighting up here where this current panel is. I'm going to take down all these panels, even the old two by two fluorescent panels. And those are going on eBay or Craigslist. I'm getting rid of them. No more fluorescents for me. I'm even putting uh, LEDs in the, out in my barn and out in my workshop so I can have plenty of light. I like to have lots of light. So another eight by four. Now here's the idea. If we want to do three on three or four on four battles and we want to do a big battle, we simply take the table and I'm going to scratch build these tables guys. And I'm going to make the tables. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to put them on some sort of a roller system or some sort of a foot system where they'll easily slide. Because again, we're going to have a resin floor 
It's going to look like wood. Um, it's impervious to water, so you guys can come over here and spill everything you want on this floor. It's not going to hurt it. <clears throat> and the tables will be easy to move, and we can put the two tables together to make a 16-foot by 4-foot table for massive infantry battles. Sound cool? That's all we're going to do here. And the Ultimate Gamers Den, we're going to do it right. We're going to make this an awesome place to game. And I'm looking forward to having some guys come over, lucky guys, come over and play and enjoy some good food and some good drinks. And we're going to rock it. We're going to rock this room in about a year. So stay tuned. And I'll keep you updated, guys. But thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you next time. Ciao.